and then they put some stuff in here as well. The Safe Center in West Baltimore has come a long way. It's now fully stocked and operational, giving 15 middle schoolers a place to go after school. The objective is to expose them to other opportunities than what they see in the community. Van Brooks created the center out of a vacant building. He's here with the students every day after school until 6, helping them with homework, feeding them dinner, and exposing them to things like robotics, woodworking, and horse farming. The students just recently started a farm program learning how to plant all different kinds of seeds, which they'll eventually transfer to a greenhouse down the street. So now the objective is to teach the kids how to grow um, in harvest, and then provide it to the community. We're going to provide at a discounted price. If not, we're going to give it away. The ultimate goal is to put the students on a path toward college or a successful career. We've added a vocational component to the center. And the reason being is we want those kids that don't go on to college to still have a skill or to still be able to learn something that could send them out into the workforce. Brooks also uses his own story to inspire the students. He was in a high school football accident that left him in a wheelchair, but he hasn't let that stop him from pursuing his dreams. My injury of being a football player and, and, and now being in a wheelchair, but then also growing up in the same community that they currently live in, the odds seem to be stacked against me. And I, I, and I let them know that even if they are stacked against you, it's what you do that will make it better. Brooks eventually hopes to expand the center to inspire even more students. In West Baltimore, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.